Jillian Harris, can you hear us live from Vancouver? I can hear you guys. Yeah, I like it when it comes together. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Now, you know, she I'm is... She's I was so, just yelling at Ed, trying to get him upstairs. Is he sleeping right now? No, he's working. He's working. Tell him to, tell him to pop down. I know we have the time change. I know you have to get up early for this, but uh, tell me about it. Last night, Extreme Makeover Home Edition, huge response here in Vancouver. Uh, you guys taped really? this. Yeah, you guys taped this in Vancouver. How did the project come together? Oh, it was incredible. It was really one of the more profound experiences in my life and I say to everybody and I'm embarrassed to say this but the last year and a half has been really crazy for me um, with everything that I've been doing and I'm embarrassed to say it but you become a bit numb after a while like yeah I just I was like what the heck just happened and I, I sort of missed that bubbly gel of mine and, and that experience going on the show and helping the family it was exactly what I needed to just jar me back into really who I am and remind me that life is short and that you know, it feels good to give back and it feels good to, to have the ability to lend a hand. So it was just awesome. It was exactly what I needed. And the family was just such an incredible family. Um, yeah, it was awesome. You know, as you talk about it, you can definitely feel the emotion and especially someone like you to give back to the family. So, you know, I was glad to see you on the show. Did you feel a lot of pressure? Because, I mean, it's much different from The Bachelorette. You actually get to showcase uh, your interior design expertise. Was there a lot of pressure making sure the house was great for the Skaggs family? Yeah. Um, I was worried about the, the house um, until I met the family. And then I realized that um, it doesn't matter what anybody thinks about me and my design talents. Um, all that matters is that this family is happy and that this house is exactly what they're looking for. And that was, you know, a big lesson that I learned after I was done with The Bachelor and Bachelorette that I stressed out so much about, oh my gosh, if I do this, are people going to think this of me? And I, I, you know, we've talked about this. I, I stressed out a lot about it. And so I did things a little differently this time where, um, you know, this show wasn't about me. The show wasn't about me and my love life. It was about the family. So I wasn't as concerned about um, my interior design expertise as I was about really getting to know the family and making sure um, it was the house was really them. Well, you know what? You the, know what I mean? the, the, the house, uh, it was such a great gift to the family. Uh, I quickly want to get a couple comments about the house we see in the background. Is, is that Ed's kitchen right there? Um, it's our kitchen. We moved oh, into oh. a new place. Oh, Babe, it's... do you want to come really quick? Yeah, yeah he's... let's bring Ed in here. He, he's still in his PJs. That's all right. Bring Eddie and his PJs into the shot. Let's see both of you guys. Did you design this kitchen? I'll try, to, I'll try to get him in. I'll try to get him in here before I'm done. Sit by really quick, babe. The whole, the whole world's watching. All of Vancouver is waiting, Ed. Hey! Wake up like every day. <laughs> What's going on, big man? Thanks for the cameo, Eddie. Uh, you know, listen, we saw you on the wedding with Jason and Molly. How was that experience? Was it a little weird being a part of that wedding? Or are you guys tight and kind of keep in touch ever since the show? Oh, yeah. We've totally kept in touch. And Jason and Molly have come to visit us in Vancouver. And, um, you know, after um, growing up in a small town, northern Alberta, and then being catapulted into this sort of public eye, nothing is really weird anymore. You just kind of... You just kind of deal with it, and um, it was a really a lot of fun. And for us, we also wanted to use them as guinea pigs. You know, I know I've said a million times I would not want to do a public wedding. Yeah. But the more we start planning a public wedding, I realize it's almost impossible to keep it. I mean, the more we start planning a private wedding, it's almost impossible to keep all those details private. So. I was like, well, if we're gonna go, we might as well see what it's like. And it was really beautiful. You know, people aren't gonna believe me, but at, at the time it was very intimate. You know, there's only one or two cameras and at a regular wedding, there's one or two cameras. And other than that, it's, you know, they were, were friends with everybody that was there, all the past bachelors and bachelorettes they were friends with. So I, I, I approve, thumbs up. Nice, uh, is, is Ed still around? I got one last question. I kind of want to ask the both of you guys. Is Eddie still in the oh, room? Oh babe, he has his one question. Bring him back in as we close up this. One Come back in as we wrap things up. You know what? I seriously think you guys still revive yeah. the Bachelor Bachelorette franchise. So the big question is, when are you two going to get married? And is it going to happen here in Vancouver? No pressure on Eddie to bring it back. Ed, you got to do it in Vancouver. Oh, great question for me to come back to. <laughs> <laughs> Answer, the man has a question. When's it going to be? <laughs> Eddie, when are you guys getting uh, married and where? No, I, uh, <laughs> Jill, uh, any thoughts? Yeah, you know, we're going we're gonna to plan it right and take our time. And, and if it happens in, in six months, if it happens in 12 months, we're not sure yet. But when it does happen, um, you guys will know.
Awesome. Hey, can can Dawn be? Uh, can she can she carry the flowers down the aisle? Dawn and Michelle, can they be a part she, of? She, Dawn can officiate. See, he, I'm better answer, asking uh -huh. a question. We've decided to keep everything like very mum and very low key. So when you ask me, I'm really good at beating around the bush. Where Ed's like, um, wedding? Who, who's Jill? <laughs> um, yeah. All right, <laughs> well, I'm all we will stay yeah. tuned, Jillian Harris. Thanks so much for dialing in. Congrats on the show and everything you're doing. Nice to see uh, everything's still working out well for you. Thank you, guys. Uh, as usual, Vancouver's lovely, and I miss everybody. And thank you guys for your support. And uh, hey, can you everybody root for me? Because I want to try to get another extreme episode. So oh, we'll I put need it somebody in. to write. We'll get the votes. We'll get the petitions online, Jilly. Thanks so much. Sounds good, Riaz. Talk to you later. All right, take care. Jillian Harris via Skype from Chicago from both her and Ed's kitchen. There's two of them together, Michelle. <laughs> I love that. Did you see the big jar of jelly beans behind her? I did see the jelly beans. I was a little distracted by that. A little bit of a theme why. there. Yeah. And thanks for working on the flower girl uh, aspect of the wedding, Always. Too, That's Always. good. Always thinking, eh? <laughs>